We're given a table, orders, order number is the primary key for this table. That's important. It means that order number is unique. Um, there aren't any duplicate order numbers in that table. And the table also contains information about the order ID and the customer ID, order ID being order number, customer ID being customer number. And the um, task is to write a SQL query to find the customer number for the customer who has placed the largest number of orders. And it turns out that there's only one customer who did that. That's important also um, because it means that there aren't any ties in any of the test cases. All right, so let's jump into the first solution. Now, this solution is actually fairly performant. Um, however, it might not pass some of the more elite interviews like at Google and Apple because it has one too many subqueries. However, it could pass at some startups, um, depending. Some, some people who aren't super advanced in SQL like to use like lots of subqueries. And, uh, and I, I understand why, but in my experience, um, in my experience for the more elite roles, contracting or otherwise, uh, <laughs> you want to reduce this to um, only one subquery. But I'll go ahead and get started and kind of walk you through it. So we have the first subquery, and that's a really basic SQL statement where we're selecting the customer number and then the count of orders from the orders table we have to group by a customer number. Now notice I said count star, not count distinct order number. That's because, um, as I mentioned, uh, order number is actually a primary key, which means that there aren't any duplicates, so we don't have to say count distinct. If we do say count distinct, that's gonna slow down our query. Count star is one of the, the faster operations in SQL, um, so that's, that's the first thing. So that's our first subquery. And then our second query, we pull from that subquery and we're selecting the customer number and the count of orders, which we already found out in the first subquery. And then we're ordering by count of orders. So that gives us a table with all the customer numbers um, ordered by count of orders descending. And then finally, we just select the top customer number. We know that there aren't any ties. So Assuming that table is already ordered by count of orders descending, then we just select customer number and we limit one because the first customer is the one with the largest number of orders. And that'll work. That's actually, I've tried that out a few times and it's, it's about faster than 90% of solutions on LeetCode. However, as I mentioned, one too many subqueries. So how can we reduce this down so that there's only one subquery? Well, it turns out we don't actually need the uh, second query because all we're really doing in this subquery is ordering by count of orders descending. And we can do that down here. So we can take this out entirely. So I remove the comma now. And this will run slightly faster than the first one because there's less subqueries. Um, and the way it works with subqueries is uh, basically there's more planning and um, on the SQL side. And uh, every time we're running this query, the, the final query, it has to scan tables from the original subquery. So it's a little bit slower uh, the more subqueries you have. Okay. And I think this would probably pass most interviews. Um, for people who are always use subqueries, <laughs> um, they'll probably give you a pass for this. And the more elite people would be like, okay, this is, this is pretty good. Um, however, we can go one step further to get from the point we're at now, which is faster than 95% to faster than 100% queries, and that's by eliminating the subquery altogether. So how will we do that? Well, it turns out that we don't actually need count star in this statement at all in order to order by it. We can just push it down here. And that gives us the table that we need. So 
everyone is first learning SQL, uh, one of the first things you learn is about aggregations. And you learn that anytime you're going to do some sort of an ag aggregate, like count star or count distinct this, you always have to group by whatever you want to group by. In this case, it's customer number. Um, but what you don't learn usually is that, for the most part, you don't actually have to put the aggregate number in the select statement at all. So instead of creating the subquery where we find out, um, you know, the the table of customer numbers and how many orders they did, uh, since we only want the top customer no number, we can just take that out of the select statement entirely, since there are no ties, and then we just limit one, and that actually gives us a solution. So, um, in some cases, if you're interviewing at one of the top companies. Uh, I would start with the earlier one where we have one subquery because they'll just say, can you do this without a subquery? And then you have this in your back pocket. But on the job, this can shave off uh, a few seconds in production, which could be the difference between your website being in the red during peak hours or peak months or being in the green. So anyway, I hope this was helpful and uh, I really appreciate you guys. Looking forward to talking to you all again soon.